Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Miss Universe Canada pre-show. We're live from the John Bathe Theatre inside the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. And with me, of course, is the host for tonight's show, Mr. Sonny Varelli, the director of Western Ontario Regional. How are you feeling? I am feeling better than okay. I'm feeling fantastic. You know why, Paola? Because we are here live in Toronto, the greatest city in Canada. We are here to crown the next Miss Universe Canada 2017. It doesn't get any more exciting than that. How excited are you? I'm so excited because tonight we get to meet our new Miss Universe Canada. I know you guys are excited to find out who will be, so you guys better stay tuned to find out who that lucky lady will be tonight. I, I tell you one thing, you guys out there in internet land, you have the best channel right now because you are about to experience the greatest pageant. You know what, we're right up there with Miss USA and Miss Universe. This is Miss Universe Canada. This is the hottest ticket in town. So welcome aboard. Fasten your seatbelts because we've got 65 of the most beautiful women from across Canada competing. One of them is moving on to the Miss Universe pageant. We're so excited. That's right. And this year, it's a special year because we're celebrating the Miss Universe Canada pageant 15 years anniversary. So we're very excited and we're looking forward to the show tonight. But we're also celebrating Canada's 150th birthday. That's right. So today is a very special day for us. We're so proud. Everybody's been happy. Everything has gone so smooth today. So smooth. So I think that we should bring in one of our uh, one of our staff members of to course, see how yes. how We're smooth things seeking. have been going. Mr. Gino Berti, where are you? Gino Berti, ladies this and gentlemen, come on right between us. For the girls to feel comfortable on stage. So tell us a little bit how it's been for you to be working with so many beautiful women. Well, there's a lot of them. There's one of me and 64 of them. So I had to, they scared me a little bit, but they were great. They worked very hard. They had a lot to learn. They had uh, three big production numbers to learn. They had six patterns to learn, um, mock, mock pageants. Their, their, their entire week has been very full, but they have been great. They have been working very hard, and every single one of them has a very distinct personality. So it was a very interesting week. Absolutely. So Gino, how is this year being the 15 year anniversary of, of the Beauties of Canada and Miss Universe Canada organization, how does this differ from uh, all of the other years that you've been uh, the lead choreographer for Miss Universe Canada? Well, it's a larger year. We have a lot of girls this year and we also have that new element. We have a new production number that we've never done before that has a beautiful costume parade. So all the girls, it's all their idea. They worked on it, they had designers and they've come out to show you what they created. We have three different categories. There's like a costume, ballroom, and then large costume. So they'll be given um, an award for each category. So there'll be three awards given after this big production number. Well, that's amazing. And uh, I saw some girls running around already in their costume. We should get some of them here. Yeah, we got to get a They're back shot of that. there, as you can see. But before we do that, let's welcome our reigning Miss Universe Canada, Sierra Virgil. So you're still here with us. So. Thank you, Gino. Gino Thank you, great. Gino. <laughs> Gino Berti, ladies and gentlemen, the best in the business right here. Oh, here's speaking of beautiful queen, women. Miss Sierra Virtual, how are you feeling tonight? I am so excited because one of these amazing delegates is going to win this crown. Tell me this, Sierra. Coming back here to the theater, you know, being with all the girls and all the training and stuff, do you, got, do you get that, ever get that feeling where you just want to get back on that stage and just go compete? I know it never goes away. You ask any pageant girl, but how is it different for you? You know what, I love performing, I love being on that stage, but I think tonight I just, I feel excited to pass that torch over, excited to give another girl the opportunity to shine at Miss Universe. Absolutely, and I know you've touched a lot of young women out there, and that's really what Beauty Pageants is about, is about a winner that can carry that crown and make a difference. Tell us a little bit about the difference that you've made, not only in Canada, but around the world. Sure. I overcame body shamers, as the media like to call them. People called me fat, overweight, said I was promoting obesity. And I wanted to show not only women in Canada, but around the world that you can love yourself for who you are, stand up for yourself, and enjoy every day without having to listen to those people who want to bring you down. So after you pass your crown tonight, what can we see you do next? Because we know that you love to dance, you love to act, that you're in law school. So tell us a little bit what your future holds for you. Sure. I'm in my last year of law school. So by April, if I pass everything, I'll have my Juris Doctor degree. And then from there, who knows? Maybe my master's, maybe I'll move to Toronto. You never know. <laughs> One last question that I have for you. What advice would you give the new winner that you're going to crown today? What's the first thing that you're going to tell her? It's very cliche, but for the, all the women, including the winner, is to continue to be yourself. Be resilient, don't let anyone challenge who you are, try to change who you are, and just love every moment of the experience tonight, and of course, your reign, if you are the winner. 
Awesome. Any message to anybody out there in the internet? And we know that there's people watching around the world, in the Philippines, in South yeah, America, yeah. and all over the world. You, you got to have a message for the people that are tuning in right now saying, oh my God, that's Sierra Virgil. My message for everyone is thank you so, so much for all of your support. I would not be here without you. And keep shining your own light and don't let anyone try to change who you are. That's amazing. Thank you, Sierra. And we'll see you tonight on that stage. Sierra Birchall, ladies and gentlemen, she will be part of the show. She's in the production number. So you're, we're not done with her just yet. We want her to stay forever. But unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to her tonight. But she's part of the show. So exciting. Paola, That's right. how are you feeling today? Like doing this now, being behind the camera now and interviewing. You're doing a great job, by the way. I love you're it. I love it because I get to see everything. The behind the scenes, the production. It's amazing. Now I'm part of the staff and I love it. You know, I love being part of this Miss Universe Canada organization. And it's amazing that we're celebrating 15 years and every year we rep uh, we send an amazing woman to represent our country and it's amazing that this year from across Canada the girls we have girls from Alberta from Windsor from Ottawa Ontario yes. and everywhere in between and I tell you this is such a great group of girls that you're going to see tonight. 65 of the most beautiful girls across Canada. And then what's going to happen tonight is we're going to narrow that down to 20. From 20, that gets narrowed down to 10. From 10 to 5. And then, of course, five of them will answer the final question. Some of them are, are nervous. Some of them are... are and during rehearsal, they did an amazing job. So I am certain that we are going to be sending an amazing representative, like we always do, exactly. to the Miss Universe pageant. So just let's give a little recap for the people that didn't tune in on Thursday. What sure. happened and the girls that won, no, they were nominated for the Fast Track Award that will be automatically placing on the top 20, so. Yeah, so we have, uh, the way it works here, we have uh, five awards that are the, we call the Fast Track Awards. So what we did Thursday night during our preliminary competition is we called out the top three from each category and they, don't, they still don't know who the winner is, so we like to create that drama. So you're going to find out tonight in front of a live audience, when we call out the top 20, inside that list, we're going to call it out, for example, best body, and then the girl that won that is in the top 20. So We also have uh, best runway. Best runway, uh, humanitarian, humanitarian award. award uh, People's Choice Award. Uh, you guys have that uh, duty to select our... Um, how many girls? There's so many top 20 of them already, but they picked the, the girl that has the most votes. Absolutely. And tonight you'll find out who that lucky oh, girl is. Sorry, sorry. They're queuing us. They want you to turn the camera. We're going to bring in some of the girls. Awesome. That they look are, amazing. Come on in. Come, come on wow. in. Tell us, tell us about what you're wearing and who created it. Did you do it yourself? This is a very, very special, special costume because it is worn for the last year by the Stampede Princess wow. in Calgary. So there's a queen, there's two princesses, and they travel the world promoting the Calgary Stampede. And uh, she's a friend of mine and lent it to me for this special event. Is she watching Calgary. right now? She is watching right now. So thank you. Thank you very much, yes, yes. So how are you feeling tonight? You're nervous? You're the show's about to start any time. Oh my gosh, if I wasn't nervous, there would be nothing to lose. So I'm embracing the nerves and going over everything in my head about the next steps, and I'm ready. So is this, how many pageants have you done before? I'm, obviously this is probably the biggest one that you've done, but tell us about your pageant background. I've never done a pageant before. This is my first pageant, but I've competed in case competitions internationally and across Canada and placed in many of them. So my interview skills and uh, my confidence is definitely there. I just had to learn a few of the other skills. This Absolutely. Year. You know what? And we always stress um, with under the Miss Universe organization and the Miss Universe Canada organization that the interviews are just as important right. as the swimsuit, you know, and the evening gown. Everyone always says, oh, you know, it's a girl on stage. No, no, we have substance here. And I know that you guys have done amazing in the interviews. How tough were the interview, the personal interviews of the judges? Because I know... For today, right? Those you were yesterday. They were yesterday. yesterday. Um, we had... 10 judges, and we did a circle interview. We had two minutes and 40 seconds for each judge, but the questions were very relevant to today's age, and especially here in Canada, so I was very happy to answer them, showcase what I've learned over the year, and all of the research that I've done. Awesome, well thank you very much. Best of luck tonight, to you. and break a leg. Okay. In a Just good way, enjoy. in a good way. <laughs> okay, we know what, we've got some more girls. Who's, who's here, what do we got? Oh, we Come got on in, ladies. Uh, tell yeah. us your name, tell us where you're from, so that the audience Absolutely. So my name is Andy Rahi. Je suis de Montréal, Québec. All right, Montreal, baby. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling very, very excited. All of the girls and myself included, we worked very, very hard to be here. And we're so excited to finally show the world what Canada has got. That's so great. how has your experience been so far? 
It's been amazing. I learned so much. We're very grateful for all of the sponsors. They treated us really well. And I've learned so much from every single girl here and of course from our coaches and you as well, Paula. Thank you for leading us and showing us the walks and the turns. You made us really well prepared for Miss Universe. It was my pleasure. I, I love, you know, when the girls come up to me and they ask me, Paula, how do I do this? It's, it's, I think it's my duty to teach them what I've learned and it's something that you can take home and use for your personal life. But we have more people coming, Thank right? You. We will have more come costumes. Come on in, come on in. Look at this, oh, wow. beautiful. So this is this, a little sneak peek of what you're gonna see for tonight's show. I think she's anticipating because winter's around the corner and I see the, the mitts. Oh, I love the Canadian flag, but I don't like the cold too much, but I love my country, I love Canada and we'll accept the cold anytime. Well, thank you. I come from the home of the world's largest skating rink, Ottawa, Ontario. I so love it. I felt like I had to represent in this outfit, and I'm actually wearing an Ottawa-based designer, so we collaborated on this jacket. Beautiful. I thought I'd join you guys, so I thought I'd wear red as well, but uh, you look great. And how excited are you? Because in about, I'd say, 15 to 20 minutes, we're going live to the, or less, we're going live to the world. What are you feeling right now? Are there butterflies? Are you nerv are nervous? I'm very excited. This is my first pageant ever, so it's been the most amazing experience. Um, I can't wait to be part of Miss Universe Canada and Beauties of Canada in future years to come. Right now, I don't think it's nerves. I'm one of those girls who I'm like, get me back on the stage. I want to keep going out, um, but we're definitely all wondering who are those top 20. Awesome. Well, thank well, you. Well, we got to mention, because she was uh, one of our top <laughs> talents, uh, and she got to perform on Thursday at the preliminary show. How was that for you? That was amazing. I did a tap routine at the preliminary show uh, to trashing the camp from Tarzan. Can you just give us a sample of tap? You got to get that an right amazing there. Amazing tap dancer. It, it, oh. Can you hear it? Awesome. She's awesome. Bravo. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Today. Best of luck to you. We've got some more contestants. Come on in. Yes, Who's come up on, next? Come on. come on in. Don't be shy. Everybody, come. Everybody. Yeah. You know what? We're running short on time. We're Everybody, come on time. in. Let's show some more costumes. Wow. Look at this. Amazing. Come in. Can you get a shot of this? Everybody, How many come. more? We want to show everybody. We're running a little costume. bit short. Here, I'll get in the back. You guys get in the front. Show the camera. Get right in front of me. Show the camera. The beautiful costume. So, ladies, ladies, the listening audience is at home on their internet right now. They're they're yeah, they've got the popcorn. They've got their ginger ale or Coca Cola or whatever, getting ready to watch the biggest pageant in Canada. Let the world know how you feel about Canada right now. Anybody? How proud of you to be Canadian. How proud are you guys? Woo! Here's the question I have. Who wants to be the next Miss Universe Canada 2017? Woo! How about that? That's amazing. And here we have Jacqueline. She was also uh, one of our top um, runners for the talent show. She actually won, right? And so you're going to see her tonight performing. I'm feeling really good. I'm really excited to be able to share music with other people and kind of have that connection tonight. Don't leave so guys. It'll be great. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> Can we get a little sneak peek of what we're going to see yes, tonight for absolutely. you? Yes, absolutely. You took the question I was going to ask. Yes, her. please. Give us a little taste. Sure. Wishing you were some here again. Amazing. You awesome. see, these girls are talented. Well, thank you, amazing. ladies. Thank you. Congratulations, and we'll see you in a little bit. I know you guys got to get ready finishing for Finishing touches. We're going to bring in a former Miss Universe Canada as well. Yes. And one of our, come on in, Joan Hart. Come on in here. I'll, I'll go around this side yes, so that yes, you, can, yes, you guys yes, can yes. stand. We have Samantha Tajik and, of course, Joan Hart with us. These ladies have been with the organization for so long. I guess we'll start with Samantha. Yes, Samantha. Tell us how you're feeling tonight. You're part of the judge panel. I am super excited because, I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way. We're going to have a new pageant sister as part of the family. So I'm very excited. Is it, tell us, what are you looking for on that girl tonight? What does she need to have to be crowned the next Miss Universe Canada? That spark, you know, uh, Paula, you know what it's like when I watched you on that stage. It's like, it's just that spark that we need. It's, it's someone that's intelligent, that's beautiful inside and out, and that's going to do a great job representing us. As she needs to leave right away, because it's right around the corner. So someone who is ready. And honestly, it is so difficult <laughs> to judge. I know, it is. It's, it just, it's harder and harder. At the interviews yesterday, I was blown away at how impressive these girls are. It's really difficult. Now, do you have a favorite? I know I shouldn't even be asking. I know they're all your favorites, but do you have a couple in mind that you saw that say, you know what, that could very well be the next Miss Universe Canada, and maybe the next Miss Universe? I have 66 favorites. Awesome. There you go. She's too good. Well, hey, what about me? So much, what Samantha. about me? Uh, 67. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know hey, you got to go. Congratulations, Samantha. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. And we're here with the lovely Joan. She's been with us for so many years, and she's been helping out with the girls, making them feel comfortable. Tell us how you're feeling tonight. I am feeling very excited, as I would like to say to Dennis de Villa, the national director, happy 50, 15th anniversary of pageant uh, in the organization. And I have been with him 15 years, and I am honored to say that I have been working uh, with him. And uh, I always tell him that he's such a brilliant man, as the pageant is getting better and better and better every year and I didn't think it was possible but it is awesome and uh, this year we have they could all be wearing the crown. You Thank know what Joan the pageant gets better and better it's because of people like you That's that right. continually help out and you volunteer and the girls look up to you I tell you they love you they love you this this she is the essence of what a pageant should be and what is so from the bottom of all of our hearts here at the Miss Universe Canada organization. We love you, we thank you, and it's not the same without you, so please keep coming back. We want you every year. I will be coming back, and thank you very, very much for being part awesome. of it all. So Thank you, Joan. Awesome, awesome. MC. Joan Hart, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, we've got time, I think, for one, a couple more. Because it's places. It's places. We don't have time, guys, so all right. are you guys ready for tonight? Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is it. We are now going. He has to go now. I gotta right? go. So I gotta I'll go. Take okay. Over, guys. See, I don't. I don't want to leave the camera. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. So, guys, are you ready for tonight's show? Please stay tuned because the Miss Universe Canada pageant it starts now.